Hello, gorgeous soul. I've got great news. This week is so much better than the past couple of weeks. And we've got a new moon in Leo. So there's confidence, wonder and magic that awaits us all. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey, lovely Libra. This week is all about your connections to other people, but it also gives you superpowers to connect. You are like a beacon and you're drawing to you the right people this week. On top of that, you can sort of just put your wishes out there and you can you can connect to, to what you want and where you're going to go in a far, far deeper way than usual. Also, you're very passionate about your relationships. So if your relationships are great, oh, steamy passion this week, my Librans. But if your relationships aren't working, you might find yourself a bit more argumentative than usual. Although having said that, this is a great week. So put your passion into the passion of creating harmony, uh, which is your natural mode of being, and you should be fine. But if anyone messes with you, you're likely to lose your temper. Um, but Mars is trying Mercury, so it looks like you're, you're using your energy for the power of good, the power to form partnerships, the power to form groups of collaborators that you work together with. Perhaps you're going to put something out online that could go viral. It's it's a very positive week for things like that. The new moon is in your collaboration zone, your friendship zone, anything to do with groups of people and your connection to the universe, the one consciousness. You know, that feeling part of the whole and then drawing what you need from the whole towards you. So if there's groups of people you need to let go of, the new moon is the perfect time to ditch anybody or any group of people that don't bring harmony into your life or that that create uncertainty you want to be around people that you trust and that you have an equal relationship with and you all work together as a team and that is coming your way now this new moon is especially powerful because it's trying mars the passionate and sextile the north node which is all about our future. And your future looks very adventurous. You may be thinking of studying, you may be thinking of traveling, but you wanna do something that sort of opens up the boundaries for you so you can gallop towards new pastures. Now, after the new moon, or around the 20th, we have Mercury and the sun entering your psychic and spiritual zone. So you're opening up to your spirituality, to psychic visions and feelings and symbols, and you're more positive about it. Also, you have a lot of empathy and warmth, and you feel the kindness of others, and others feel the kindness of you. It's a very magical time, likely to have some strange and wonderful and, and odd experiences over the next few weeks. Let's see what the tower has to say. The first card is the Five of Pentacles. You may be feeling left out in the cold in some way, Perhaps you've gone through some emotional or spiritual or financial poverty and you feel ten of wands. You can't see the wood for the trees. Everything just feels like, oh, you're carrying these burdens. But guess what? Whenever I look at the ten of wands, I can see when, you know, search online for the ten of wands, the ride of weight version, that person is carrying those burdens in a way that isn't helpful. You know, there are ways that you could sort things out. You just have to find the balance. And as I said that, I turned the temperance card Find your balance, Libra. You know it's your superpower and your skill. And when you are balanced, anything could happen. There also might be a situation connected to property or moving. It could even be moving office because the Hierophant and, and the Four of Wands are there together. But you're being made an offer. But right now, you might not be focused on what that offer is. You might not be seeing it. Look around you. There's more going on than you can see right now. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hi, gorgeous. Before you go, check out my new film on my fabulous psychics. A lot of people ask me for readings. I don't do them anymore. But for over 20 years, I've had an award-winning team of psychics that I truly handpick. So check out the film. Let me know what you think. The purpose of a reading, I feel, is very much to inspire people and to empower people. It's about hope. It's about guidance using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading.
I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. And it is a bit like a three-way conversation. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else, it's, it's, it's part of who I am, it's what I came here for obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.